Hello there. I'm only sticking my face in a little tiny bit because it's morning. How much do you really want to see of me? Anyhow, I've got this little experiment on the go about how I can have uh, good nutrition during the winter, especially in Newfoundland, because we live on the island, an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So, uh, you know, weather happens and it happens sometimes pretty serious here. So I like to have a good stash of stuff to get me through the winter. So thanks to Roots Country Farm in Bay Roberts. Um, and my CSA basket. I have a lot of veggies to work with. So this is what I do with them. There may be a bit of loud noise, but anyhow, I'm not going to look at the camera anymore, and I'm just going to talk about what I am doing, and hopefully it'll be quick. All right, so what we have, I have my kale, which is cut up already, washed and cut, and I have a spiralized zucchini in a bag. So I've already done the prep work for that, so now it's in my Nutribullet. So here's the spiralized zucchini and the kale, and I've got just a bit of water in it. So what I'm doing is making veggie cubes. And then throughout the winter, then I can just pop them out of the tray and then stick them in our shakes. Okay, so this is going to be loud. So, uh, okay. so I already did one. Here's one jar of green goodness. So I just stick on my Nutribullet thingy. Stick it in here. I didn't put too much water in it. Sorry, this is going to be loud. Woo, it's working on my demo. All right. Sorry about the noise, especially if you're not awake yet. And then if it's too watery, what I'll do is I'm just sort of adding stuff as I go along. So I'll stick a banana in there because I actually have to get rid of my bananas. Because look, it's still a bit too liquidy. So I figure we might as well just beef it up with some good shit. So let's stuff more kale in there. Mm. In you go, kale. I got lots more of you on the way. Stick that in there. Whoop. Do it again. Sorry about the noise. Okay, I won't deafen you because I already have one done. So what I bought was my ice cube trays. Dun -dun -dun. This now let's see how graceful we can make this. Ooh, this looks like one of the things that my mother would say. My God, Kellyanne, you really drink that? I do. Do you know what's in kale? Like a crazy amount of stuff. And it's all grown naturally at Roots Country Farm, which I am super thankful for. Anyhow, I'll fill those up with the other ones. So in the meantime, so then I stick them in the freezer. So in the meantime, let me show you this. Bum, ba, da, da. Wow, this is quite the demo. Look, already done product. I'm kind of like Martha Stewart, but, but not Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart of Newfoundland. Anyhow, so these are my first ones I've ever done, and I just did these the other day. And they are beet cubes. They're beets and beet tops. So I've never even cracked these before. Oh my god, look, it's working. See? Packed with beets, beet tops, which is full of like crazy old stuff. And what I'm going to do, now that they're cracked, put them in here. That was probably loud too. Ta-da! What do we call these? Beat blocks. <laughs> and then this one too. And then, when winter hits, and I don't want to be drinking like freezing cold shakes anymore. I find once like the cold sets in, I'm into anything that keeps me warm because I get cold pretty easy. Uh, so 
I will put these in my shakes, but what I will do is add hot water from the kettle, not cold water, which will melt it down and kind of bring it down to room temperature, I believe, which I like my shakes at room temperature. Lord, Jesus, come on. All right, well, you get the picture. God, here we go. All right. And now I got a bag of beet blocks. And I got some kale blocks on the way. Yeah, that's right. Keeping us healthy in Newfoundland on an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is, well, one of my experiments anyways. Anyhow, thanks Roots Country Farm for the wonderful veggies. You're like making my life. It's so good. Okay, go make your veggie blocks. Have a good week. Bye.